Hey guys, it's Cindy, and I'm going to run to my room to grab something while I wait for some of y'all to come in. So, oops. You leave me alone. Come with me. Okay, I'm back. Turn back over here. <sighs> Let me get things scooted around. I have this big old tub I had all that fabric in yesterday, and it's sitting right here in my pathway. So, get it all out. So, let's see. People are here. There's Cheryl. Good morning, Cheryl. Cheryl, I... I was able to combine what you bought uh, yesterday and today, so even though shipping was free, I was still trying to save on shipping, so, uh, so it'll all come in one package. That's fine. So, so I want to show you all the goodies and the things that I was so blessed to receive from, for my birthday. I felt major love and, uh. At times I felt like, gosh, you people are just are too sweet to me. So, anyway, so um, I got sweet, adorable cards, a surprise for you for your birthday. This these look vintage, and I love vintage cards. This one here definitely looks vintage. It's made in the USA. So, and then I got this sweet little card. Also, and um, anyway, so I will show you. Okay, I'm going to go back and show y'all what. And this is only part of what Amira sent me. There's another pair of earrings, but I did show what Amira sent and one other. But I'll show it again. I've got to get it all back to my room. So this beautiful ring here. Love it. This gorgeous ring. I like that. I love all of it. Anyway, and these really pretty flashy earrings. And then there's a pair of vintage um, looking um, filigree lace balls that uh, are silver. And all that was silver. So, that was from Amira. Amira is a viewer who watches, but she doesn't come in and chat and all. Her daughter does. But uh, I'm not going to mention names because I don't know that they want names mentioned. So, but Amira is. And then, uh, good morning, Sandra Killen. And Cheryl and Jude and Myra. And it's not afternoon yet here. It's We got 15, 17 minutes. What are you tearing up? Bubby just picked up a bunch of trash. Turkey. So, um... These things here came from my friend Jude. And hey, Miss Josie. So she sent four silver chains. And this is three of them. And one of them I put the cross on that I sold in the auction, which she told me that, that I could do that. And then this beautiful inlaid turtle. So uh, I'm probably going to keep these other two chains for some pendants that I have, and then, oh wait, oh heck no, oh, I've lost a baby turtle, he's got to be around here somewhere, 
he's probably back there in that thing. Let me make sure he's not in this box here. He's not in there. Okay. Then Jude also sent me this turtle here, and there's a baby that goes with him. And I think the baby is going to be in this box right here. Well, I don't see him, but he's here. I didn't lose him. I know he's here. I seen him just recently. So, anyway, there's a baby blue turtle that goes with him. So, those those little turtles will go live up in the um, in the turtle house here. So, you forget that you're mountain time. So, anyway, that, that'll drive me crazy. I had him tucked up under him, and now I don't know what I've done with him. So, anyway. Y'all know I've been a little bit absent-minded lately, so... He's definitely not lost. He just isn't checking in right now. <laughs> so idiot. He didn't get he didn't get the memo that it was time to check in and show himself off to everybody. So anyway. Okay. So um yeah, make sure he's not I mean he's teeny tiny. Actually he may be he may have got stuck down in this bag with uh this other stuff. So, all this other stuff came from my sweet friend, Lena. And I'm, I have to dump it out so I can show it all to you. So, somebody's messaging me. It's probably Jude. She's like, you lost my baby. No, it's not Jude. <laughs> so, come on, Bubby. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys. Hold on. <laughs> He heard me say, you lost my baby, and he come running to me. Him knows him, mama baby. Him knows him, mama baby. Yeah, they're little jelly bellies. Him, mama baby, him just being so good this morning. Not really, but anyway. <laughs> we, 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 we are trying the power of positive thinking. <laughs> I'm teasing you, Jude. You know that. We're trying the power of positive thinking. Speaking of Jude, how are you feeling today, sweetie? Are you feeling better? Oh, this is just such a little, little boy. He's such a little, little boy. Him just get, get more. I've got so many packages that I, um, oh my gosh. I'll be actually sending, sending my son to carry in packages. <laughs> so, okay. So, Lena sent... Good, 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 good. Lena sent me a bunch of stuff. And I'm just going to show every bit of it to y'all because I like to show all of the stuff. Now, that's not part of what Lena sent. That was part of a shipment I got that day. And, yeah, those. Okay. So, I'm going to just slide all that down. Just like that. And Lena sent a bunch of uh, things that were not jewelry but are are uh, so are things I like. So she sent me this beautiful lipstick case. Has a really nice mirror and velvet. It may it'll go up on a shelf. She sent me this cute little vintage matchbox, and there's a, the cardboard part of the matchbox is still in it. You just have to slide another cardboard box inside of it. She sent me. This really nice little mirror. And I believe it's vintage too. <laughs> I may not have shined that too much. Y'all see all that trash on behind my computer. She sent me a cute little um this is a um a little box that held solid perfume but the perfume has been cleaned out of it there is there's a slot it almost smelled like it had musk in it there's a slight smell but you could totally clean it out and lay anything you wanted in it so it's cute i love stuff like that foo foo stuff is what my mama calls it that i like foo foo stuff <laughs> okay 
these are all just little velvet bags. She had all of this stuff in little velvet bags. So um, she sent me this sweet little brooch. Let me take it out so you can see it. The sweet little sunflower brooch. This cool mother of pearl tiles. If can you see those are tiles? Yep, little tiles. And I really like it and it fits real well. And I'm gonna keep it because I like it. In fact, I'm keeping all of this for me. So um this little wooden bead, the little star brooch, some um Trafari hoops. Yeah, those are cool, aren't they? A uh, cameo ring. It's adjustable, but it's cool. It'll go on my vanity tray. And then, uh, let's see. Let me see if I find the other one of these. I may have laid it. I thought I laid it out already. Nope. Then there were cufflinks. And they're cameo style. And these are lions. Lines. And of course I did put them in, in my finger upside down. Dave's in, Dave's in a grouchy mood. He keeps grouching at my puppy. Get somewhere. You need to get somewhere. Anyway, those are sweet. Those will go on my vanity tray. And then here's another cameo. A brown one. And this is done in cameo style, but it is a porcelain. Feels like a piece of porcelain that's got a flower paint on it. It's a, a, a brooch and a pen. And y'all know that people cannot send me uh, things without including turtles. And so, okay, this here is doesn't go in there, but it got stuck in the bucket. Uh, a turtle. She sent me a turtle. She sent me these little cufflinks that have, who look like to be George Washington to me on them. Uh, some little Monet earrings. Some little coin earrings. Some little stone earrings. A, uh, A necklace and uh, another pair of stone earrings and last but not least a giraffe a giraffe so that was so cool it was so much fun going through all of it um i really enjoyed just going through it i thought it was a blast going through all of it so uh, um but yeah i felt really blessed that people uh love me enough to send me gifts so because I, I told, I told, uh, I was telling Jude, I don't feel like I deserve that. And she says, people send you things because they love you. And Miss Lena always sends the nicest notes. Anyway, so Lena, if you're seeing this, thank you, darling. Jude, thank you, darling. Uh, Miss Amira, thank you. And to everybody else that wished me a happy birthday and have been part of my celebration, thank you, thank you. Thank you. I do appreciate it greatly. We've had a good, good time the first two uh, Monday nights. We will have some more fun coming this coming Monday night. And, uh, yeah, all my vintage, vintage, vanity stuff. So, anyway, yeah, we've had a lot of fun. Hey, Susan Gill, how are you, sweetie? You just got here. I'm just showing the things I got for my birthday. I got some really cute things. You can go back later and watch it. Some really, really cute stuff. And uh, um, anyway, but I stuck <laughs> I stuck this in the bag. And this is something I bought at Barbie's auction for myself. So anyway, so uh, uh, I have been doing packages. Everybody's packages are caught up and ready to go. I just got to go to the post office. So we are all caught up. I just have a few few to uh get paid up and then we'll be done we'll, we will be done so anyhow but yeah so you're doing okay good deal good deal
phone. So I'm really excited for you guys to get your bags that are just the crafty bags because um, they were very interesting, okay? They were just very interesting bags in the fact that there was actually not any one piece of jewelry that was really intact. I'll show you. This is a few of the things that I kept for myself to do, to do craft with. But, uh, uh, but there's a lot of findings. I'm sorry that you were having trouble. There's a lot of findings. There's a lot of beads. See, I kept these little silver beads. It's part of a bracelet or a necklace. And it's, yeah, uh, I kept, actually, I've done, made this piece out of some of the things I kept. I had these mother of pearls and then this tassel. And then I have a dash and dot chain here. But it has no way to connect it. So I've got to figure out a way to put findings on it. So anyway, so um, I was I put all that together. This was part of a bracelet. And uh, I thought it was really cool. It has rhinestones in it. And I thought, you know, that would make a really cool pendant. I think it would make a really neat pendant. Um, this was, there were uh, some of these in there. I don't know how many of them were in there. But they were uh, dichroic, oops, turn it around. Dichroic glass crosses. And uh, the the glass part of the bale was broke off. So, um, my thing is you can wire wrap them. So, there were little pieces of bracelets and things that were broke. Like, these were just little uh, pieces off of little, I don't know. But this looks like it was part of a spoon ring or something. And so, I just took and bent it and made a, a thing and made a, um, a pendant for it. What, what I think is, would be fun is, hey, thank you. What I think would be fun is to go live one day on StreamYard and invite get, and put the link up and invite anybody that wanted to to come live and show some of the things that they make out of that craft bag. I think that would be a lot of fun. So, anyway, use the crimp end caps. You can put them on and score. Okay, I have some of those crimp end caps. Um, they're in one of my buckets up there. Next month for the craft auction, guys, I've decided I'm going to bite the bullet and go through um, here. I'm I'm going to shock y'all. <laughs> okay. Let's see if I can get it on the camera. Okay. Hold on. Don't. Y'all don't freak out. Okay. Don't freak out. Here we go. Okay. There. See this? See all that mess in there? All those little tubs and all that? That is all filled with stuff that I have kept back to craft with, including stones, glass beads. There's no plastic beads in there. Stones, glass beads, chains, all kinds of stuff like that. Um, I mean, there are buckets full. The, the little tubs, some of the little tubs are just full. So I'm going to go through that and make up little bags out of it ne for next month. If I can get myself motivated. Y'all know motivation is. Uh, <laughs> yep. Earthquake. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. We're back. We're back. There we go. Anyway. So. But. Uh, uh, but. I say that. And then I still. Keep things. Come on puppy. Daddy don't want you. Come on baby. Come on sugar baby. Rascal. Daddy's eating. <laughs> This is why Rascal is in there. Daddy is eating. So anyway, so uh, I have stuff like that in there. I have stuff like this. Okay, so what would you do with this? What would you do with this? Okay. I'm going to say, <laughs> I'm going to say, um, go. Okay, I'm right. Let's see. There's eight people in here. Okay. I'm writing a number down. What did he steal? <laughs> S 
slapping. Come here, Rascal. Okay. Okay. I've I wrote start now. You would make a boutonniere. Is that what that's okay? Start now and tell me what you uh would make out of this. And then I've got a number and uh I'm going to go through and okay, so Patsy's I would make a boutonniere uh would be number one. Her corsage would be number two. Put your comments, and then I have a number wrote down over here. And uh, whoever picks, whoever's comment is, that number will send this to you. And then you can tell me. It's got some kind of a signature on it. So put a, a comment. Judy's yours. Pendant with gold antique. Okay, that's. Judy's yours a comment on what you would use this for in a Christmas tree? Is that what you're saying? So that's one, two, three, four. Uh, make a picture with all floral silk brooches. That's five. Sure. <laughs> well, if it's not, you can leave a different one. We, you can leave. You can leave something that's just specific to this. If you want, it don't have to be. You were just talking about. Anyway, so um nine people here. If you wonder if you just came in and you're wondering what we're doing, I have this beautiful pendant and I'm asking for ideas of what you would do with it. And then I'm gonna give it away. But okay guys, here's the thing. I'm pretty sure this was not ever a part of a piece of jewelry. Because I cannot find anything. To put it on a vintage flower wreath. I cannot find anything in there. That has a way for it to be fastened. To any kind of jewelry. I don't see where a pendant broke off. I don't see where a anything broke off of it. So I don't know what it was. I think it's really cool though. So if you want to get your number in, get your get your thing in, you can leave a leave a um number. You can I'll count the I mean I'll count the comments and then we'll pick a number between the uh, how many comments there are. So okay. So we have Patsy says she'd make a boutonniere. Uh, and you can leave more than one comment because we'll do it that way, okay? You can leave more than one comment and we'll we'll count them all. Patsy says a boutonniere. Jude says a Christmas tree. Patsy says a corsage. Susan Gill says a pendant with antique golden beads. Uh, Cheryl says make a picture with floral. Jude says um, put it on a vintage flower wreath. Buying Space says put it on a cone. So we have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven comments so far. We have seven comments. At the end, I'm going to tell Google to pick me a number. Uh, add a back. That's eight comments. Leave you a comment. You can leave more than one. Okay, this is trash. Let me just stand up for a minute. See, I have bags like this all up in that. You would glue it to a light switch cover. That's cool. I have bags like this just full of stuff. This bag right here. Come here, puppy. This bag here weighs nearly three pounds. It weighs over two pounds. Well, it weighs two pounds and nine ounces. Okay? So, it is full, filled with all kinds of stuff to craft with. There, there are geodes in here. 
This one here is a bag of stones. This one here is another bag of stones. They're all fluorite stones. You've got green and purple fluorite stones. Put a ribbon on it and put it on a Christmas. Yeah. Turn it on its side and make a bracelet. That would be cool. Uh, jump rings. Yeah. Now, stuff like that I won't probably include in my crafting next time because I, you know, I need my jump rings. So, I have this. It's a cute little bracelet, but it needs a cabochon. And I might have a cabochon that would fit it. I just have never looked. I have all kinds of glass beads and bits and baubles in here. I mean, just all kinds of things. That might be smart. He can't steal your food that way if you eat it at the table. So... So, put it on a ribbon and, yeah, you know what? You could actually run a really pretty, like, a really pretty ribbon through it and hang it on a Christmas tree. So, you, okay, let me just tell you. This thing right here weighs two ounces by itself. It's really heavy. So you would have to uh, you would have to have a really strong magnet. And I mean a really strong magnet. Yep. Okay, let's go up here and uh, count how many comments we had. And then we'll ask uh, Google to pick us a number, okay? So we've got, starting at the top, Patsy, one with a boutonniere. Jude with two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we have twelve, okay? Okay, guys. Google, pick a number between one and twelve. Pick a number between 1 and 12. It won't do it. It did it the other day for me. Okay. Here we go. It picked number 3. Okay. Pick a number between 1 and 12. It picked number 3. Let's see who's number 3. So... Boonier. Christmas. Okay, one, two, three. Patsy Crafty is number three. So, Patsy, I will uh, put this in a little package and get it sent to you, okay? Let me, uh, here, let me put it in this bag. So, anyway, but yeah, I have had a lot of sweet birthday gifts sent to me, and uh, we're going to get ready to get some of this crafting stuff cleared out. Because the, I'm just being honest with myself. I'm never going to use some of that stuff. Never. Never, never, never in my long-legged life. Only I don't have Osei oh, random. Anyway. Patty Crafty. But I have a lot of pieces, that kind of pieces. And you will find some in those in those bags. You'll probably find some pieces that are not like that, but similar in style to that. So, anyway, when I find those kind of things, I always put them back. So, anyhow, but I just wanted to share because I promised Monday night I would come live today and share my vintage jewelry. No, not my vintage jewelry haul, my birthday haul. Well, it's not really a haul, my birthday gifts, what I got for my birthday. So, anyway, so now I'm going to get off of here and I'm going to find my. What did she say? My squeezy caps. Those um, crimp caps. I'm going to find my crimp caps and crimp, crimp the ends of that and make it where it'll stay and make, I think, a cute necklace out of it. So, anyway, I've got to find my fingernail file and file down that little.
place there. I have I keep a bunch of of real coarse emery boards that I use to file down coarse edges. And uh, anyway, so but I'm going to go because I know there's other people that want to be online today. So anyhow, so you guys have a good one and I will see y'all later. Bye bye.